Thank you for joining us this week. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry or how to donate to this ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. A message title this week is The Proper Balance. I will be coming from 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 4. He must manage his own family well. My beloved, balance is very important in the ministry. As a matter of fact, it's very important in any part of our lives. Balancing family and career calls for tough, unselfish choices. If you make the right ones, you look back with joy, not regret. My beloved, I heard a story about a person who was a professional musician, and for many years, he made his living on the road. He was becoming very successful. Then, after about three years, he married and became a father. He was on the road about half the time. Then he realized that when his daughter was about a year old, she hardly knew him. He knew he needed to make a change, but it was frightening to him because he was becoming successful. So he was thinking, what if his career slowed down drastically? And what if being home more actually made life harder for him and his family? So he decided to take a job as the head of a music department at a university. Now, he still performs, but he travels only a fraction of the time. His relationship with his daughter got better, and now she has become the source of his pride and joy. And may I add that his relationship with his wife grew even closer. But remember this, my beloved. Sometimes we think that we have to give up our dreams in order to have a successful family life. But that is not true. We can still hold on to our dreams. Remember, my beloved, that your family is a gift from God. And of course, we need to support our family monetarily, but we also need to support them spiritually and with our presence. We need to be with our family, sharing with our family, having fun together with our family, because once time passes by, it is gone forever. So my beloved, you may climb the ladder of success, but what is it going to cost you in the end? One of the greatest titles you can have is that you were a faithful husband, a good husband in the eyes of your wife or others that know you more closely. Another title to have is the title of daddy to your family. The Bible says a leader must manage his own family well. And my beloved, that doesn't just apply to leaders, but it applies to each and every one of us. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for this message today, The Proper Balance. At times, we look at the economy and our level of living, and it has a tendency to change our perspectives on what we need or how we should run our household. Father God, give us wisdom to make the right choices and to honor you in the process. Give us wisdom on how to take care of our families and how to balance our work with our home life. Thank you, Father, for this message today. As we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a blessed week, a victorious week. And remember, it is better to do it God's way than man's way. God bless you and go with God.